I actually think it's accessible movie. I think anyone can understand it. Um, it's a sword and sandals movie, though, that is pretty unusual because it's not about a gladiator. It's about a woman who's a philosopher. It's just it's very, but she was pretty pretty punk rock. She did some pretty punk rock things. Why should this assembly accept the counsel of a woman? If you choose to do nothing, though, you will continue to do the same thing over and over again until there is no one left in this city. No people for this government to govern. I'd never heard of her before I was offered the script, and it, it seemed kind of strange that no one had made a movie about her before. Uh, I, you know, I, th there are chronicles and letters between herself and her students. She did have students who fell very madly in love with her, and she, we know that she was a virgin, and we know that her dad ran the Library of Alexandria, and she edited science texts with him, and she was an expert on conic sections, which are like all those geom geometry shapes. Don't ask, I don't know. The, the acting throughout the film is very contemporary in terms of the level of naturalism. I mean, the fact is, that's what I, why I really wanted to do this film. Apart from that, I thought it was a great drama with a great character. When I closed the script, I thought this is a story about today. It's a contemporary tale set in the fourth century. I mean, turn on the news any moment of any day and you will hear a story of violence and religious fundamentalism or fundamentalism versus science, you know, be it stem cell research, um, teaching Darwinian evolutionary theory, but, you know, but in a more serious way, you know, violence between, um, Jewish fundamentalists, Islamic fundamentalism. I have a question! I have a question! Oh. I mean, it's just incredible that we should still think that it was okay to, not okay, but righteous to kill another person because they don't believe in the same God. It, it's extraordinary. I mean, to kill. I mean, it's just, if you stop and think, it's just mind boggling. So, you know, we're, we've got a long way to go on this little rock called Earth. I think faith is a very beautiful thing, and part of religion is faith, that it's not an empirical thing, it's not something you can prove. And there's a great beauty in faith. Um, you could call it uncertainty if you're more scientific or you could call it faith if you've given yourself over to faith. So I, I can see the beauty in both. Yeah. I mean, it was very magical to have Alexandria built there um, um, so that I didn't have to really imagine so much. I would walk onto set and there I was in fourth century Alexandria and there were all the extras dressed up and it was Malta. So Malta is, uh, Gladiator was filmed there too. It just has the right kind of terrain. It's sort of desert, deserty and dry. And then there are high spots in which you can build something like a Colosseum or a, uh, an Alexandria. But um, it's dusty. <laughs> I was happy to go home and have a shower. Okay. And ask me about my nude scenes. Yeah, I know. God, oh, come on. Does this go online? Yeah. Well, let's talk about the nude scenes. Alrighty, no one's asked me all day. Really? <laughs> no, no, we don't, don't have, have to. to well, like, that just made her so vulnerable, I guess, you know. And I guess the nudity in the bath scene is to show that she, in front of her slave, she doesn't even think he's a man. She doesn't think that she's naked in front of a, a, you know, a young man who also happens to be in love with her, which she hasn't noticed. Max is wonderful. He made a great slave. <laughs> Um, he's really great. He's a really fabulous young actor. I love the scene where he prays for the first time and, um, and he asks God to not let anyone else have me uh, because he's in love with Hypatia. He's wonderful. I think he's a really wonderful, talented young actor and I'm very, very fond of him.